Hello, welcome to this how-to video. Today I want to show you the two basic features that we offer in our Solar Creator tool. On the one hand side we talk about the quick PV design option and the other option would be to create a full new project. And the first feature would be on the left top corner to start a new project which is overall a more detailed look into your project. And on the right hand side, we see a feature called quick PV design. And we start with this one. So we can see here, we are forwarded to a new start screen and we have three columns basically. The first one would be PV module, where we can select manufacturer, module type, number of modules, uh, temperatures can be chosen here and so on. Um, and just as a hint, in this feature, we can also add a new module if it's not listed in, the, in our library. The second column is called inverter. Of course, every uh, compatible or um, choosable inverter in the selected country pops up here and you can also select an inverter ratio. This is the, the comparison between the AC output of the inverter and the DC generator size. And the third column would be some general data like project name, is there a battery storage or no, annual power consumption and so on. And if you have entered the data or you have at hand, you can scroll down and have a full list of compatible PV generator sizes. And it all starts at the first row with a big uh, fat number which indicates the number of modules you want to choose. So 21 would be 21 modules um, which is a generator size of 4.41 kilowatt peak and an inverter ratio so an oversizing ratio of 96 percent. Then we have two battery rows for recommended battery size and the one you choose. We haven't chosen anyone. And then below that, we have a list of every string combination you can choose from. So one times 14 on uh, MPP Tracker 1 and one times 7 on MPP Tracker 2, for example. And the list goes on and on and you can scroll until you find the desired one. But I have to say the recommended ones are always at the top. And if you are happy with one, you can also go into more detail, select this one and there opens up a string details overview. So you can again check, uh, for example, the open circuit voltage at the minimum temperature, how high is it? And if you want, you can also create the report as a PDF, which can be stored, saved, or even printed out and taken to a customer's conversation. Okay, so this is the feature quick PV design. And on the top left corner or also top right corner, you can go back to our home menu. And in there we have talked about the start new project feature. And I quickly select this one. There you have to enter a project name. I just call mine test for this purpose. And with a click on next, we come to a preset menu where you can select what do you want to have shown. For example, I want to have shown a residential inverter, so small size. A battery, an electric vehicle is also in the calculation and the Ampalot. And with a hit of the start button, we then jump right into a very detailed project in seven steps. So we always start with location. There is also a irradiance calculation done, for example, consumption, PV arrays, also with an integrated 2D layout option that you can do, inverter and sizing, and further components such as the battery, the watt per lot and the ohm per lot. A profitability uh, calculation is done at step six and out comes a final report in step seven in multiple slides which you then can download and even print out and also can talk it through with your customer if you want. So this would be the second option that you can use our Solar Creator tool. So once more, the quick PV design just for a quick check of PV module and inverter or the full project with a very detailed overview of all the tools and features that Fronius offers.